I promise you one thing, after this video, you will never be single again. Because I'm gonna show you everything you ever need to know how to take a girl from point A to fully being your girlfriend and falling in love. Think of this, I'm almost gonna build a sales process for you. I'm gonna build you a CRM. I'm gonna show you step by step how to close on women from A to Z. Because most guys overcomplicate things and this is stuff that you don't learn unless you learn with experience. Most of you are stuck in the same position. You're still single because of two reasons. One, you obsess over a singular girl because you have nothing, right? Because you have experienced nothing, because you believe in true love, which is my second point, you are obsessed over a single girl in your small town thinking that this is the only girl that will satisfy your happiness because she's the only girl in your vicinity. She's probably the only girl that's giving you a little bit of attention. You start to fantasize about what your life will be like, about getting married, about kids, about this, that, and the other. So because you put so much pressure onto this singular relationship, one, she's already turned off by you, right? She can sense desperation. Women can smell desperation on men. It's palpable. It's like, a, it's like a cologne on you almost. She's turned off at this point. On top of that, because you're being so desperate, you're further pushing her away. And the more you push her away, the more invested you get. It's this vicious cycle that keeps you single. And then on top of that, the second thing that's keeping you this way is that you're believing in true love, right? You are so obsessed with the girl that you do not even know that that girl has given you no sort of value yet and you believe in your head that you are in love, right? We're, we're, look, we're, we're visual creatures, right? You fell in love visually. You fell in love because she had a great body, because she looked beautiful, this, that, and the other. You're not truly in love. And I would even say that whole BS that movie in Hollywood have given you of true love and of the one, think about it this way. Everybody believes in true love and magically, somehow, everyone's the one is that same girl that's within your like five mile radius. It's impossible, statistically impossible. You don't find the one, you just find a beautiful girl that you love her characteristics that match perfectly with yours and that's the girl that you end up wanting to spend the rest of your life with. But usually that beautiful girl will only be a girl that's within your vicinity that you have access to which is why in this video I want to give you as much access as possible so you can find those characteristics that you're actually looking for. You get rid of these first two problems Everything else I'm about to give you, it's cake work because it's truly that simple. See, if, if you're starting from ground zero, you're single, you watch, you're, you're watching this video and you're realizing Jose has a point. Jose has a point. I am obsessed. I'm also a loser. You're already off to a great start because when you start with nothing, you got nothing to lose. This is why it's a numbers game for you. Right? This is the most important step. Again, remember, I'm gonna treat this like a sales funnel almost. Now, if you've ever done anything in sales, you also understand that it is a numbers game. And you want to outreach as much as possible. That means you should usually have a, a few verticals, right? You have your dating apps. You wanna be on, if you're single, a loser, you've never had a girl, you're trying to expand your reach as much as possible, you wanna be on every single dating app possible. You also have day pickup, right? Day pickup is usually better than night pickup. Night pickup, the quality of girls are different, right? If, if you go to the bars and they're drunk, this, that, and the other. If you're just trying to like sleep all night, obviously night pickup's for you. But day pickup is for trying to find that beautiful girl, that right girl, right? The smart girl, the girl that you actually want to build a relationship with. Day pickup is great, right? You, you go to your coffee shops. We're talking about the gym. We're talking about school. We're talking about universities, even if you don't go to them. We're talking about libraries. We're talking about parks, right? These are places where women are usually attending and they're doing some sort of positive activity, which is why you can find certain quality of women in these locations. You also have social media, right? You're, you're cold DMing, -y, and ultimately you have hobbies and activities, right? So if you start picking up activities, I don't care what they are, chess spinning class, uh, yoga, uh, Pilates, I don't care what activities you pick up, martial arts, uh, I mean, maybe not martial arts, but like activities where you know it's a high concentration of beautiful women that you can start to join those activities and connecting with them becomes so much easier because you guys are already clicked up when you, when you join these groups, right? So imagine you're doing all four verticals and then you start putting a goal on yourself. Again, similar to a sales funnel, right? You start putting a goal on yourself where, right, for a day pickup, you wanna talk to one girl a day. For uh, dating apps, you wanna max out your swipes on every app. For DMing, you wanna DM 10 girls a day. For activities, you wanna make sure you do one activity a week where you can connect with a girl. What's happening is that over the course of a week, over the course of a month, you're gonna be connecting to, with anywhere between 60 to 100 women. 
Now imagine your close rate is 2%, which means 2% out of the 100 that you talk to actually are interested enough to give you their phone number. That's two girls, bro. That's already two girls you did not have a month ago before watching this video. It is that simple. And remember, because you're starting from ground zero, you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And that everything is those two girls that you would have never had contact with had you not listened to me in this video. That's just one month, bro. That's just 30 days. In 30 days, I'm getting you from zero to two. You didn't even have one before. Think about that. And what does a year of this look like? Just imagine a year of this. You're listening to me for one year. But I know what you're thinking, Jose, all right, what's the process, right? All right, so you got the number. You're gonna easily fumble the bag because you got no experience. This takes me to the method that I've always talked about. Three, two, one, go. Look, I don't like giving you one-liners and you know charismatic pickup lines because at the end of the day, if you're not confident enough, the pickup line's not gonna come across like you want it. The pickup line is not gonna do what it needs to do. So the best thing you can do is to be authentic at that point. And what I am gonna give you is like mental hacks to help you get over that bump of fear, that bump of being rejected or approaching a girl. One of the best ones, I call it the three, two, one method, right? So you're gonna try to do these these connections with all these women across all your verticals, right? So you have date pickup, you have, you have social media, you have dating apps, you have activities and hobbies, right? When you approach the, these girls, this is the hard part. This is the hard part. That first month is gonna be difficult for you. That's why the three, two, one method is great, right? As soon as you see a girl, I don't care if you're not super attracted or are attracted to her, you shouldn't start thinking about maybe she has a boyfriend or she's too pretty. Think about none of that. As soon as you see a girl, it should be like an initial gut reaction, three, two, one, and you just start walking, right? Again, I don't care if you're not physically attractive to her. I don't care if you think she's too beautiful for you. Stop thinking about all that because it's that worry that stops you, right? Once you start thinking, ah, but she's not too attractive. So what you do is every loser guy does this, right? When they see a girl that's somewhat beautiful or maybe a little bit too beautiful, you'll make every excuse in your head as to why, nah, she's not your type. It's almost like you're rejecting her in your head so you don't have to force yourself to grow a pair of balls to go up to talk to her. Ha bro, I've talked to so many guys. It is the same process. Every guy does the same thing. So instead of you starting to auto convince yourself to not approach or to say, oh, she's too good for me or whatever other excuse under the sun, forget about all of it. Three, two, one, approach, right? Like it's almost like you're removing all thought. And once you're there, yeah, you're probably gonna stutter a little bit. And, and this is mostly for day pickup, but I've noticed something great in humanity and just us as men too. When you put your back against the wall, when you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, you have no other option but two. You will either die or you will either survive. You will evolve. And most of the time, we are genetically engineered to thrive and survive. It's in our human nature. So what's gonna happen is you're going to have to evolve. You're going to have to survive. As soon as yourself, you put yourself in that uncomfortable situation, you're not gonna stutter to death. You're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to pull confidence from somewhere. You're going to have to pull conversation from thin air. And yes, the first couple times that you start evolving, it's gonna be weird, but I promise you, by the end of that month, it's gonna be like second nature to you. And I'm gonna make it even easier for you. I'm gonna give you your opening line. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Jose, nice to meet you. And then she'll say her name. That's, that, is, that is your best opening line, scientifically proven. There's actually a study. They tried every pickup line under the sun. And then they also tried this line. This is the line that got the most responses because it doesn't pivot on your confidence. And it pivots on human nature's tendency to just be nice. Right? When you introduce yourself, the nice thing to do is to also introduce yourself back. You, they, they'll say your name, and now you've started your conversation, which 99% of the time will lead to a conversation. You, like, you can take my word on that. Now, again, that's for date pickup. For dating apps, that's easy, right? You're just swiping. For social media, it's a little bit more complicated, uh, mainly because your social status will matter, right? If you're an account with no pictures, you got 20 wow. followers, it's gonna be very hard to get responses. And versus obviously if, you, if you're an influencer or you're verified, that's gonna pivot your response rate a lot. But for the most part, the highest success rate that I've ever seen 
is responding to a story. If you see a girl that's already active in her story, she's sharing her day, what she's eating, what she's doing, and you respond to whatever she's doing at that time, you're gonna have the highest chance of her actually viewing the messages and then engaging back. Because it's a genuine response, right? You gotta keep in mind that when people are posting stories, think about yourself, it's human nature. When you post a story about your food, what do you do? The first thing you do is you go to the comments, the messages. What are people saying? It's like when you post an actual picture, right? When you post a picture or a TikTok, the first thing you'll do, you'll go to the comments section. So if you want to increase your chances of visibility, respond to a story. I know what you're probably thinking. God Jose, you're a genius. You're right. You're God right. I got you at two girls and I've also showed you the process to even initiate that conversation but I'm also gonna show you the contact process, right? How do you acquire the contact? Remember, this is like a sales process, bro. It's so interesting how closing a deal and closing a woman, it's the exact same thing. When you go in there and you start making contact, you have to go in there with a goal, similar to a sales process, right? The sales process, it can be customer discovery. It could be, it could be marketing. It could be trying to close the deal. You have to go in there with a goal in mind. Your goal is simple, get a contact. Right? You want to have contact information. Your goal should not be going to the date. Your goal should not be getting a compliment. Right? Your goal should be get contact information and get out as quick as possible. Remember, you're just starting off. You're probably nervous. It's very easy for you to fumble the bag. So the first thing you should do is get that contact information. So after you, you know, you've introduced yourself, maybe you've talked a little bit. Let's say it's, let's say it's an activity or hobby. You talk about whatever it is, spin class, how hard spin class was and how much you like it and how great it is for cardiovascular. After about a minute or two, you guys are giggling. Ask for her contact information. Now, this is, this is usually tiered. What does that mean? If she gives you her phone number, this is the highest level of interest. Think of this like a hot lead, it's, it's burning. This is an easy close. She gives you her phone number, you have to think about it. She just gave you one of her most personal points of contact. She's giving you that because she's somewhat interested in you. This is why it is a hot lead. She gives you a phone number, that's a home run bro. That's an easy step onto a date. Let's say she gives you her Snapchat, cool. I call these warm leads, right? It's very close to a hot lead. Snapchat's more personal, right? Usually close friends and family and stuff like that. So she gave you something, a personal point of contact. You'll have to do a little bit of work to get to the date, but it's still a, a high level of interest. Let's say she gives you Instagram. That's a tough one, bro. That's a tough one. This is, I would call this a cold lead. You know, she doesn't like you that much. Her Instagram's not that personal. If anything, worst case scenario, you're just another follower to her. Um, you're gonna have to do a lot of legwork. Uh, and again, right, when you're talking to so many women and you notice some are giving you Instagrams, forget them, bro. If you're getting phone numbers, you focus on them, right? Remember, you're, you're gonna talk to 60 to 100 women in a month. What about a year? So don't, don't, don't get too butthurt about this. And the more you do it, you're gonna notice they're gonna start increasing their level of commitment when they see that social proof that, all right, she gives you, she gives you her Instagram, but she sees your Instagram, and your Instagram, you're already friends with several girls. When she sees that social proof, she's gonna be more committed to actually respond to your message, and you can get her to that phone number, or that Snapchat, or the date. But when you're starting, don't even, don't, don't even worry about that, bro. That's a cold lead. And if she gives you TikTok or Facebook, bro, that's freezing cold. She has no interest in you. But that's why these are great, right? When you ask for a point of contact and she gives you any of these, now you can read her. It's almost like you're reading her mind and she doesn't know that, right? You're understanding exactly what's going through her mind and now you can dictate your next steps, right? When she gives you the top two, you know, all right, this girl's interested, you can get her to a date. When she gives you the latter two, you know, all right, this girl's not that interested, my skill game's not on that level yet. So now you know, I'm gonna avoid my self-rejection I'm not gonna take it to the next level. Which talking about taking it to the next level, you should wanna level up. When you start leveling up physically, right, and across the board, right, when I say level up, I'm talking about style, I'm talking about your fitness, I'm talking about your money. When you have that as your sole focus in your life, it's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna give you access to more beautiful women. So if you're used to only talking to three, fours, and fives, as soon as you get jacked, you, build, you better your style, you better your grooming, and you make more money, right? Your car, your dress different, your house is different, your apartment's different. You're gonna see that now you're gonna go from six, seven, eights, and nines, which is at the end of the day what everybody wants. But what you're also gonna see is that it's gonna increase your close rate. Remember what I talked about, right? You, you're talking to 100 women, and you're noticing that only 2% are actually interested. That's fine, that's a, good, that's a good start. As you start leveling up, you're gonna see that close rate increase to 3%. 
to 4% to 10%. The more high value you become as a man, right? The higher you get or the closer you get to that 1% across all your life, not just money, with your style, with your fitness, with your grooming, across everything, the higher your close rate becomes. So now when you do the same process, instead of only getting two yeses, you're gonna be getting 10, you're gonna be getting 15, and your life will incrementally increase and become easier. So yes, while this is a video on how to get a girlfriend and forever again, stop being single, single-handedly, the best thing you can do for your life is focusing on yourself. Which is why you should, bro, you should care about how you dress. You should care about your grooming. You should care about, yo, April 1st, your boy's dropping a new essentials collection. You already know. And when I design clothing, I ain't playing around. I'm designing clothes to make sure you look as good as possible. And this time, yo, I even brought in designers. I wanted to make sure I was designing essentials and basics across the board. Three designers, Camila, Nat, Trey. Bro, 45 pieces. We've been, go to, go, to, go to Essentials right now. We're sold out for almost everything for a reason, right? Our pieces do what I intend, and it's, a, and it's to make you look as attractive as possible for low effort. Because that's the thing, for men to dress good, for you to level up, especially with your style, which is the first thing you should do, it's easy when you have the right brand. And that's what I want with Essentials. I want it to be easy for you to look better. And this April 1st, 45 pieces, I promise you, they will sell out. They always do, especially with their, bro, these, their audiences are large too, so their audiences are gonna eat up a lot of it. I don't want you guys to miss out. Put a reminder on your phone right now. If you wanna start dressing better, leveling up yourself, put a reminder on your phone. April 1st, 10 a.m. Eastern, Essentials launches. I promise you, you're gonna wanna get there early because this stuff is gonna fly, bro. But ultimately, on top of all of this, man, I do wanna tell you one last thing. Don't be an ass. Just don't be an ass, man. Like, what I'm giving you, you should take with a high level of responsibility. You should be treating women with respect, with love. Not to be leading them on, not to be piping girls and leading them on, making them think you, that you actually love them when you don't. You should treat this as, a, 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 as an amazing part of the human experience, bro. Getting to connect with other people and more importantly, getting to learn what you like and dislike. I mean, this, is, this is what I said in the beginning. I wanna give you access to as many women as possible so you don't get stuck with something you do not like. I want you to see what type of body type you like. Right? What type of characteristics? Do you want a motivated woman? Do you want a woman that's driven? Do you want a woman that's grounded? You're gonna see all of this as you talk to different women and that's ultimately your, your, your final goal. Because what you're gonna notice is gonna happen is as you're, you know, you're going to these first dates and, and you're gonna notice that a particular girl stands out to you. You just vibe right with her. You feel comfortable with her. You can laugh with her. She, she has what you're looking for. You're gonna wanna set, just naturally, you're gonna wanna set up another date with her. Even though you're running the system that I'm telling you, even though you might have dates planned out throughout the month, there's specific girls that are gonna stick out to you naturally that you're just gonna wanna date more with her. And it's gonna be like this natural fit, filtering process that as the days goes on, the months goes on, you know, you're gonna notice certain girls, you wanna spend more and more time with her. And you're gonna be setting up consecutive dates with her because you just, you just vibe right with them. Once you find that girl, there's gonna be one that's gonna stick out from the bunch. And you're gonna wanna spend more time with her over everyone else that has the characteristics that you're looking for, that just assimilates well, that supports your vision. Commit. That's when you commit. That's when you settle down. That's when you have the girl that you find of mission, bro, mission complete. You have a beautiful girl with the characteristics you want that's overly obsessed with you. And then through the process, you've built yourself up to be that guy to be the 1%, to be the guy that's gonna keep her in love with you for the rest of your life. You're welcome. You'll never be single again.